In this problem, we have a function of two variables, and we're asked to find the partial derivative of the function with respect to t. So we're going to use the quotient rule in this problem. Recall the quotient rule says if you have a function f and it's being divided by g, think of f as your top function and g as your bottom one. It's the derivative of the top times the bottom minus the top times the derivative of the bottom over the bottom one um, squared. So here, uh, this is our top function. And we're taking the derivative with respect to t. So that means that all of the other variables are constants. So in particular, all of our s's are constants. So this s here will hang out, and we just differentiate the t. So we bring down the 2 and subtract 1 from the exponent. So that'll be 2 s t. That's the derivative of the top piece. And then times the bottom piece. So s squared plus t squared minus the top piece, so s t squared, times the derivative of the bottom. So uh, the derivative of the s squared will be 0 because it's a constant. So we just get 2t. And all of this is being divided by the bottom piece squared, so parentheses at the times, uh, s squared plus t squared, and then it's squared. OK, this is equal to. So now we'll go ahead and distribute this. So let's see, when we multiply this times this, uh, looks like we can combine the s's. So we have 2s cubed t, and then this times this, we can combine the t's plus 2s t cubed, right? Because you add the exponents on the t's, and then this is minus 2, and this is 2t cubed here, right? So 2t cubed s. I forgot the S. S T cubed. Oh wow. And it's all over. It's just a lot of S's and T's. S squared plus T squared squared. It makes it harder. It'd be easier if it was X and Y. <laughs> uh, oh, look at this. These are the same. Boom. Beautiful. So you get 2 S cubed T over. And then we on the bottom we have S squared plus T squared. And that is squared. And that would be the final answer. I hope this video has been helpful.